Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold. This is going to be a um, continuation of the sales. I think the rest of the week, Thursday through Sunday, or wherever we left off, Friday through Sunday. Definitely some good stuff in here, and definitely some common bread and butter type stuff. Hope you guys have been enjoying um, the upload schedule. I'm trying to stay pretty consistent, but as you know, I seem to fall behind at times, so I appreciate your patience. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. For those that might be new, I am a part-time reseller on eBay. I just try to show you guys everything that sells, so that way you can see the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, the smalls, the higher dollar, kind of everything in between. And also, I'm trying to add one video a week of the um, garage sale type footage or whatever that people seem to enjoy and kind of show you guys some of the stuff I'm out picking when I'm out garage selling or what have you. So thank you for watching and let's get into what's old. So first off we have uh, this Medea Aribert Reinman Blu-ray. I went to, a, I have a library sale that I go to kind of near my town. Um, I go there, I used to go there almost every Saturday because they'd have like a little book sale. Um, they've been closed down since everything that's been going on but once they reopen we will go back there. It's really awesome. I've gotten some great deals. They had Blu-rays there and they have them priced at $3. These were a bunch of like, um, ah, opera or like different kind of stuff like that and um, I ended up picking this one up for tw uh, $3 and it sold for $24.99 so pretty good deal there check out your library see if they have a sale there might be some stuff you can pick up here's a ResMed this is goes to a sleep apnea machine um, you can't really sell the the machines online a lot of times you can get taken down by eBay so you got to be careful with that there are ways to sell them second hand um, on other websites so if you do a little Google research that might be an option for you they don't always buy every type of um, machine, but sometimes they will. But if you get one or you have one, you can always sell the power cord or other things individually. So I sold this power cord. I actually paid a dollar for it, though. It was just loose in a big bucket of cords, and it sold for 30 shipped. Here are some um, car was it some Carl Summer or something like that? Uh, for another Summertime Stories um, books. I think it's by Carl Summer, but... I don't know. If you see it on the screen or you know, feel free to let me know. Um, these were in a big buy that I had of books. They were just thrown in. I kind of bought them for some other stuff, but these were in there. Uh, I had four of them, so I lotted them together and got 20 ships. So I told you guys before when it comes to books, I like lotting up books of the same type and selling big bundles. Seems to do pretty well, like with Goosebumps, things like that. Um, Nancy Drew. Those are some of the ones you can kind of lot up if you have a big group and sell them and make some money. But 20 bucks for four books is a good deal. Here's a Hanes Toyota pickups manual. This one sold for $12.99. You can see it's not in the greatest shape. I think I paid a buck for it. Um, these Hanes manuals, not all of them are worth your time. A lot of times the trucks, the SUVs, sports cars, things like that seem to do a little bit better. Um, or cars that at least are still on the road today. If it's something kind of odd or wasn't really desirable, then maybe you know that manual might not be desirable either. Here's a really cool item. This is a Source um, Hip Hop. Uh, rap magazine is basically the way I called it it's from 1991. I got a bunch of these from one of my sources um, where I got the rap and hip-hop cassettes from About the same time I got these so whoever he bought them from or whatever unit he got they were in there and um, This one actually I had sold once for $70, but I didn't realize that it was um, coming so loose from the the binding uh, like the binding on the magazine and it was only hanging by one little Part of a um, staple or whatever it was and I messaged the guy and said hey it sold for 70 but I just noticed that this is really coming undone worse than I thought and the guy said no he didn't want it so I relisted it for like 75 bucks or a best offer and I actually you can see that it's a uh, you know it's come off now from the from the binding there but I ended up selling it for 50 bucks on a best offer so still a great deal these rap and hip-hop magazines have done really well most have gone for at least 30 bucks and some have gone for like 50 or 60 and some can go even more depending on which issue it is so definitely something to look out for probably not the most common item but might be worth your time here is a huge Jansport vintage like hiking backpack it has the metal frame and everything I spent 10 bucks for this at an estate so I just thought it was cool uh, it has the Jansport and the little blue part there as well. Um, and I ended up listing it for like one or 200 and something. I lowered it to 190 and it's been up for a long time. It actually took me probably a year just to list it. Because after I bought it, I'm like, I'm never going to ship this thing. It's going to cost too much money. It's not going to be worth my time. It's it's beat up too. It's definitely beat up. It's more of a, you know, a man cave type piece or maybe in a cabin or something. It's really not ideal for using out there because it's some of the zippers don't work well so i wouldn't recommend that but um i ended up finally listing it my wife got on me about getting some of this junk listed that i haven't listed in a while and i did and it sat still for probably about a year 
even after that. And then finally someone came through and bought it for 190 shipped. They lived in Utah, I think. So maybe it's going to like a cabin or something like that. But um, it ended up only costing like 29 bucks to ship it. It's not real heavy, it's just long. But it shipped FedEx and because it was going so close, it was only like 29 bucks. So we made a great deal on it. Probably wouldn't pick it up again just because it is so darn big and bulky and it was not in the best shape. Uh, here's another item that sat for a while. I paid five bucks for this Forza cycling helmet. It appeared to be unused. The box had a little wear, but I um, got it at a, um, wasn't really an estate sale, but kind of like one. It seemed like it, a lot of the stuff they had. And um, they wanted five bucks for this. I listed it and it sat for a while and it finally sold on the best offer of 40 shipped, which is a really good deal. I think it cost 10 bucks to ship it, something like that. Uh, but pretty cool on that helmet. Uh, a lot of times I find these serious, serious satellite radios. And the radios don't do as well unless it has like a lifetime subscription or whatever, which is good to check out. But you actually can do really well selling the docking cradle, which I have right here. This sold for 18 bucks. You can sell little antennas. You can sell the car chargers. So if you get one and it has like all those extra pieces and it's cheap enough, it might be worth your time just to pick it up for those items because some of them do end up selling. Again, this sold almost right away for 18 shipped and it goes first class. Here's a Netgear um, router. This one I got from one of my sources. We, I think I spent 10 bucks on a box of electronics and computer parts and CDs and computer games. It was all kind of mixed in. Um, basically, what ended up happening was this one, um, I tested it out. It seemed to work okay, and it sold for 42 ship, and it sold overnight. So I don't know. I guess someone must have really been looking for one of their super popular because it sold right away. Here is a Sony Blu-ray remote. This one sold for $9. Um, again, I like selling the remotes. I bought some recently in that uh, haul I had while I was on vacation. I spent like 45 bucks on two huge boxes full of remotes. And um, we've already sold, we've already made our money back. We're already in the profit, I believe. We sold a couple of 25, some 24, some 12, some 15. We already made money and you know we're gonna keep making money. I think I sold one the other day for 24 bucks. So uh, definitely worth selling remotes. Not all are the same. This one sold for nine dollars. It was a Sony Blu-ray one, but nine bucks. It's gonna cost us three something to ship it, and it, you know really easy. I just put mine in a little layer of bubble, bubble wrap and then put them in a bubble mailer and send them on their way. They go first class. Here is the gem of probably this week. This is the Tom Petty Zippo letter. If you're on my Instagram, I posted this. A little while ago, obviously the sales are about a month or so behind, but this one ended up selling for 150 shipped. Um, I saw it at a garage sale. I paid one dollar for it. That's what they were asking. I don't know much about Zippos. Um, I saw that there was one listed for I think like 70 or 80 bucks. I think auction at the time, and I want to say something like that. And then there was one that had sold for like 30 shipped, brand new. And I'm like, oh well. I don't know what the difference was, but I'm like, maybe this one is worth around 30, 25 or 30 bucks. If the one sold 30 brand new, mine's not brand new, but maybe I could get that. So for a buck, it's worth it. Then I started doing some more research and I think one had sold for a hundred um, via auction style or something like that. And I was like, oh wow, these things are expensive. So I listed mine for 150 thinking, okay, I'm going to aim high, no, no best offer. And it sold almost like within two days. So maybe I was even a little too low, but $1 into 150 love it. Um, don't know much about Zippos, but took a chance and it paid off. Here's a Led Zeppelin cassette tape lot um, in through the outdoor and physical graffiti. This one, these ones came from the Rock and Roll Buy. Um, I just ended up lotting them together and I got 15 ship, which I thought was pretty good. It's going to cost us $2.80 or so, media mail, and a um, really easy sale. Here's Microsoft Office um, Academic 2010, so a little bit newer than the 2007s that I've sold in the past. This one ended up selling for 70 bucks. This came in that same $10 um, where I got that router. There was a bunch of software and stuff. This was in there, and this ended up selling for 70 shipped. Look out for these. Look out for Microsoft Windows 7 and 8 and all that, the operating systems. The older Office stuff is becoming to the point where it's not super desirable, but the relatively newer. This is still 10 years old, but it's considered new compared to like the 2007 one, obviously. But um, look out for these because some of them sell really well. The main thing is you got to make sure there's a CD key in there, a product key. If you don't have that, it's not really worth anything. Um, and probably don't show the product key in the picture just so no one tries to use it from you. But um, definitely worth selling. 70 bucks shipped on that. Here is an item that's been up for a while. This is a Cabbage Patch Crimp and Curl Horse. This one had like the most watchers of any item in my store. It used to be that strawberry shortcake tin that you guys may have seen a while back. That had like 30 watchers and it only sold for like 24 ship, which doesn't make sense. 
Um, this one had like I think 20 something watchers and it finally sold for 30 bucks. I've sent offers out to watchers at 25 bucks many times just to get rid of it. I had like a dollar in it and um, they're just not super desirable but it just took forever but it finally sold for 30 bucks. Um, this is cool. This is from the Rock and Roll. Line. This is a Bengals signed Vicky Peterson. Um, just like a little book here. It's got a bunch of guitars in there, but she signed it um, on the inside there. And um, it ended up being pretty cool to, to find something like this. And uh, I didn't really know what to price it at. So I listed it at $43, I think, or best offer even. And someone just came through and paid full price and they did give me good feedback. So I had no COA. I had no way to authenticate it. Um, just took a picture of it and I even put that in there. Um, it was, the autograph was also personalized, so it was to the guy that had the unit that I got all this stuff from. And I bought it from a guy who buys storage units, and everything was from this guy who collected, like, rock and roll type stuff. So it was addressed to him. I think his name was David or something like that. So it was personalized as well, which sometimes that can be a little bit of a deterrent. Um, here is a Steve Miller and a Journey 2014 um, concert shirt. This one sold for $20, so I like selling the concert tees. Here's a Wii U. It sold for 180 shipped. I don't even remember where I got this one, but um, it sold for 180 ships, so that sold pretty quickly. Oh, I know where I got this was. I spent 50 bucks on the Wii U, and I got a Wii for 40 bucks from a garage sale a while back, but it finally sold for 180 shipped. Um, here's a Ping G2 left-handed driver. Um, lefty clubs are a little bit harder to find, a little bit harder to sell at times because there's not as many lefties, but sometimes they can demand a little more premium if it's a good club. Um, this one I got 50 bucks for. I paid $10 for a stack of clubs. They were pretty much all lefties. There was a couple righties in there. And I think I ended up only selling this one for 10 or for 50 and the rest of them I gave, the lefties I gave to my father-in-law because he is trying to play, wants to play golf with his son and um, he's a lefty. So he doesn't have a full set yet, so I'm on the, on the hunt for the rest. Um, here's a little pet shop, a Great Dane. This one sold for 12 shift. I told you guys to sell these little pet shops. I part out the ones that seem to be valuable and then I lot the rest together. Here is a desert kind of uh, camo marine shirt here. I get these all the time. This one's been up for a little while though, but it finally sold for 20 ship. That's usually the lowest I end up selling these for. Um, I get them a lot of times from two different sources I have that both buy storage units. A lot of times they end up with them in bulk and I'll buy them for like two bucks a piece. And um, usually we can make some money there. And some like some of the um, woodland ones do even better. You can get 25 plus on those ones depending on which one it is. Blur Xbox 360 disc only sold for 23 shipped. A good game to look out for. I'm pretty sure it sells well on the PS3 as well. So definitely keep an eye out. Uh, Emancipation. This is a three CD set by Prince. This one sold for $10 also from the Rock and Roll Buy. Here's a My Little Kitchen Fairy. I think I've mentioned these before. Selling these for a friend, but this one sold for 30 shipped. I think she gave me six or seven of them. We've sold like five so far. So all of them for right around 30 bucks, but this one went... This was a sugar pie. It sold for 30. And then we have a Beatles gear on um, instruments from stage to studio book. This is also from the Rock and Roll Buy. Just scanned it. It seemed to have some value. And this one sold for 30 shipped. It went medium mail. So awesome to get rid of that guy. Another remote here. This is a little um, car CD player one. A smaller one you might not think so valuable. But it sold for 18 shipped. The model is CDX M630. A lot of those small little CD player ones don't go for a whole lot. They're going for five, six, seven bucks. But this one went for 18, which was awesome. Here is a reel to reel. This is Vivaldi, the Four Seasons um, one. This one sold for $45 on the best offer. I love reel to reels. It's one of my, I told you guys, one of my favorite things that I've learned about. Um, they're hard to find for sure, but some of them do really well. I sold another one the other day for, I think, 25, which doesn't seem like a lot because it isn't. But a lot of times I'm getting them for a buck or two bucks. And then every once in a while you find these gems. This one for 45 which is awesome for an old media item. Here's another kitchen fairy. This one's Baby's Night. This one sold for $34. This one was the highest price one. I ended up selling for $34 shipped on that. Here is a Nikon Coolpix S9100 camera. I got this, I think, in a lot with... Um, I got a Sony Handycam in there and a bunch of like photos and different stuff like that. These um, photo albums. I spent $100 because the photo albums were from the 70s. Um, I've only sold one for 40 bucks so far and I have like 13 so if they all sell we'll do well but I'm not sure about that but this came out of there as well and this one sold for 40 shipped. Um, the camera had the battery and everything but no charger so I ordered one it was about five bucks. That little K-Star one is kind of a generic one but it did work. Tested it out and then I sold it for 40 shipped. so 
definitely worth my time. Here's a Tanya Tucker CD lot. This one sold for 12 ship, three CDs, getting four bucks a CD used. Not bad when they're not worth that much individually. So $12 shipped on those. Here is a Jansport. This is a corduroy um, Jansport. It actually has heavy wear. It's from the Rock and Roll by there's some, there's a hole in it at one point. There's definitely some tears and some scuffs, but it has a real distressed look. Still sold it for 40 ship. Look out for these uh, Jansport corduroys. And I'm sure some people like that distressed look. It kind of makes it look like authentic, like they've used it and it's been around the block a few times. So 40 bucks on that guy. Another little is Pet Shop. This one is like the flocked one. It's like a soft kind of felt material. It's sold for 10 shipped. Here is a Daewoo. A Daewoo? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a DVD player VCR recorder. This one I paid, I think, 10 bucks for at a garage sale. It had everything with it, the in manual, um, cords and everything, the remote, and it sold for 80 shipped. And I want to say it sold super fast. I love selling these things. Um, Sometimes people want a little too much money and there are some risks because a lot of them do test and don't seem to work. Uh, I love if I can get the remote with it though because then I'm, I figure I can probably sell the remote for at least 10 by itself. Um, and even if it's shipped, I can make some of that money back and it's not such a big loss. If it doesn't have the remote, I'm usually investing a little less into them just because of the risk. Because for me, I would say about 25% at least don't work or have issues. And maybe even more than that lately it seems like. But still probably worth it because when you find a good one this is 10 into 80 bucks and that's a good deal some nike hyper venom x um, wolf gray men's shoes size 13 these were five bucks at a garage sale they sold uh, overnight for 35 shipped i bought them that day listed them that day and they were listed at, i think 40 or 45 or best off 42 or best offer and i took a best offer of 35 ships so happy with that an Acura SLX uh, manual. This one sold for $55. This is from the manual buy from Storage Unit Guy. We spent $500 on boxes and boxes of manuals. We're still selling them. We've sold, I think, over $5,000 or some. We're pushing $5,000 in sales. Um, and this one sold for $55 shipped. Here is another piece of software from that same buy for $10. This one sold for $48. Bucks. It's Microsoft Windows 7, the professional upgrade from Vista with the product key. $48 shipped on that. Same thing, guys. Look out for these old software. Make sure the key's there. Here's a Sony remote, uh, DVD remote dongle. I always seem to sell these. They don't. They sell for about seven, which is below what I usually want to list for. But I seem to always sell them because they seem to sell pretty well. I always get that seven dollars for them. Easy to pack, easy to ship, and usually when I'm buying video games, there's one of these in there. So if I find it, I'll go ahead and list it. But not a huge dollar item. Oops. Uh, here is a Casio G-Shock watch. I spent $5 on this as well, did not work, so I had to get a battery for it. So I got a battery and then took my time tinkering with it to make sure I could get it work, working. And I did get it working, except for I put the face in upside down. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with this watch? And then I realized it was a user error. So then I had to take it back apart and put it back in and line it up perfectly. And I did, and I got all the buttons to work. So it was just pretty much user error, but at least it works. And it sold for 43 ships. So I think the battery cost me I bought a bunch of them, but I think it was like a dollar per battery or something like that, and ended up selling for 43 shipped. Here's a Thomas and Friends engine. This is Trevor the Tractor. It sold for 10. I told you guys I like to part out the Thomas stuff, so that was a pretty easy sale. Here's a Cutco spatula. This one sold for 13 shipped. Not as good as some of the knives, but I still buy the other utensils. They will end up selling. So 13 shipped on that guy. I think I had a dollar in an estate sale. Here's some more of those Bible books. Um, I've told you guys, and they were kind of a bolo in the last video. Here's another one. This one's on Genesis, and it sold for 30 shipped. And this buyer I know bought both of them. He also bought Joshua, and he paid 30 bucks for that one. So two of those out for 60. We got six of those um, Bible books on CD or whatever uh, for five bucks. Here is a Call of Duty Black Ops zombie shirt from the My Pet Monster buy. This one was a size medium, so it was a little bit smaller size, at least for people like me. It's actually a lot smaller for people like me, but this one sold for 25 shipped. Uh, pretty quick, too, I think within a couple weeks. Here's an old PS2 game, Haven. It sold for $8 shipped. Here is uh, Russell Simmons VHS uh, Def Jam comedy ones. They sold for 18 shipped for six of them. And um, not really the greatest buy there. That's kind of a... Not really an ideal buy, wouldn't really waste your time with it, but they ended up selling for 18 chips. So that's it, guys. I don't have any more things to show you. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you have any questions, please go ahead and let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.